Banshee Rune V3. I've been looking forward to riding one of these for so long, as a lot of you guys know. The Banshee frames have always been a standout. The new ones, at least. The V3s that I've tested have been an absolute standout. They feel better than carbon. They're stiffer than carbon. Uh, and they're more dense and definitely stiffer than alloy. Or as stiff as carbon without the tinniness. I don't know if they're stiffer than carbon. But it feels tremendous. I've done a half lap. Felt out the suspension a little bit. Not quite on the ball with it yet. Uh, I think I could go a little bit less pressure in the rear, to be honest. But we're going to see how it goes. Brakes are half scrubbed in. We've got aggressor out the back. Max grip DHF on the front. Perfect combo. Oh, it's so good. The stiffness of these frames is incredible. Without being what you get, the trade-off with carbon frames is, yeah, you get the stiffness, but you also get a little bit of a poor ride quality, in my opinion. This doesn't do that. It's so, it's so good. It's so good. I'm nowhere near a setup yet. I'd like to give these forks a, a service. Just get that. Make sure that air spring's good. A little bit choppy in the back. I'm just a little bit oversprung. Which I kind of gathered from the climb up. It's a quite efficient bike. Fully open. Oh. It's so nimble. It is so nimble. Yep. I'm in love with this bike. I could calm the back end down a fair bit. A bit wily. But, god damn it. There's not a bike that feels better than this. There's not one single bike I've ridden that feels better than this, frame-wise. And I know that I'm a little stiff on the suspension, so there's room for compliance out the back and to open that rebound up a bit to keep the, the efficiency and the playfulness. I'd love a slightly higher bar but it's not a big deal. This box one drivetrain isn't great. It's kind of ghost shifting through the bumps. And it's really, really heavy under thumb, shifting up, like shifting back into easy gears. Oh, this thing is so good. It's so dialed. I could back the, roll my bars back a touch. Oh, it's so smooth. On the land, it's not smooth, it's so compliant on the landing, like it's, it just deals with it and keeps charging forward. This bike is so good. It's got so much potential. If I can get that back end feeling like I want, which will be so easy, I reckon this thing's going to be an absolute hitter. You don't need a 29er, kids. Absolutely do not need a 29er. Oh, there's the brakes. Whew, see, go shifting again. That's not on. Box one, get it together. Oh, it's nice to be back on Maxi's tires. I'm testing these Vittorias at the moment and they're good, but they're not a, they're not a Max grip or an aggressor. Wow, this bike is incredible. I know, I know I'm blabbing, but I can't say enough about the stiffness and the feel of these Banshee frames. Absolutely not. I almost had one. I almost had a Prime. I ended up pulling the pin because I was planning on racing it, but it wasn't going to be here in time. So last year, I ended up with the Slash. But I would absolutely take this over the Slash. This has got so much strength. Not to, not to say the slash isn't good, but 
Um, yeah, this is the king.